Many of these individuals, I just say without fear of contradiction, are also doubling up as influence peddlers and business people, and therefore they give certain politicians who are otherwise thieves a veneer of spiritual legality. Mm. How can we stop that? Should we stop that? We should. How but it is not going to be easy because when people invoke the name of God, the congregation is frozen and many people do not have the ability to interrogate this kind of situation. And you know, the, I love the Bible because the Bible also speaks about such individuals. If you look at the book of the Acts of the Apostle, Paul says that in his days, they were the church people of a place called Berea. And the difference between the people of Berea and Thessalonica is that every evening when Paul had spoken to them, they would go and interrogate the Bible to determine whether Paul was speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. If the Christians were able to do that, they would be able to discover that some of these individuals are essentially cultic leaders who want to use their tithes for personal tithes. benefit. The 10% of, the, of the money that they pay. The, the tithing, the, they, they are the ones who use the money. That is why the they can... Use the and, and we now have a new do phenomenon. You pay your I, I do pay my tithe, but month? my church is an organized church so that the money does not go to the bishop. The money goes into an institutionalized process and the bishop or the pastors have a salary. But these husband and wife formations... Mm. where the husband is a pastor and the wife is a pastor and the son is the secretary and the daughter is the treasurer. These are essentially pyramid schemes which have been put together by individuals who have uh, uh, capitalized on, on what I call the Jesus industry. And this Jesus industry is being abused by the invocation of the name of Christ in a manner that is improper and to the detriment of the people of God and to the detriment of their countries. They deserve condemnation. And they are peddling lies and selling miracles. And during the election time, they threaten people. They use the word of God to threaten people for their temporal joy and glory. Mm. They are the latter-day Pharisees, if you ask me. You have them in Kenya as well? Oh, there is no show.